Hello and welcome to this comprehensive guide on accidents in Hitman. We're going to be going over everything you need to know for success in Freelancer. While accidents have always been a unique and interesting way to take out your targets in Hitman, with the rise of the eco-crime syndicate in uh, Freelancer, we need to know how to do each and every one of them well. And that's the point of this video. By the end of it, you'll have a good reference and a good understanding of all these techniques. With the addition of the water and oil canister, we have all the tools we need for success and we're going over how to use them well. Let's talk about explosive accidents. It's a great way to make a statement. Now your bread and butter tool is going to be the propane flask. To use it, if you throw it, it's going to leak gas and you need to give it one shot. It'll explode. If you don't throw it, you're going to have to give it two shots. Now what if you make a mistake and you throw it? It's going to start leaking gas, but don't worry. You can pick it up. And it'll just reset. See? When it's leaking though, it's the time to shoot. Now if you have a breaching charge with you, while carrying the propane tank, try doing this. Drop the breaching charge straight from your inventory. This will drop both the breaching charge and the flask. And you'll have a makeshift remote explosive. But unlike the remote explosive, this is an accident. While the remote explosive is a crime. If your target is not moving, you can put down the propane flask and the breaching charge. Another accident. Let's talk about fire extinguishers. You know that one shot will blow open doors. If it's next to a person, it's going to knock them out. This is a great way to get concussive knockout payout objectives. You don't need a duck or concussive grenades when all you need is a fire extinguisher. Again, two guts knocked out here. It's bad. Really bad. You heard it, right? The huge blast. My ears are still ringing, man. Let's drop a fire extinguisher and a breaching charge at the same time. Remember, you have to be holding a fire extinguisher while you drop the breaching charge. Huge concussive explosion. Three people knocked out. Accident. Now when you have canisters like this, you use a wrench to create a gas leak. If you shoot the gas, everything blows up. If you don't have a wrench, you can shoot the lamppost or the container like this and it'll start leaking gas. But be careful, you only shoot it once. If it targets a smoker, they'll kill themselves. For stoves, turn off the stove first, then create a gas leak. The next time the stove is turned on, it'll blow up. Create a distraction to call your target in awesome. and just wait. What the hell is that stench? Just don't stand too close. Vehicles. One shot will create an oil leak, second shot will blow it up. This is the same for all vehicles. First shot, oil leak created, you can hear it. Second shot to the oil, explosion. Okay, the first use of our oil canister here. Think of it as a one-shot explosive tank. Massive fireball, very easy, very flammable and will kill everything in its path. Last use for the propane flask, chimneys. See that fireplace? Create a distraction and there should be a vent chimney just above that fireplace. Drop it down. You get an accident. Moving on. No sudden moves. Just put down what you are carrying. I repeat. Drop it. Hold it. Yeah, it's a pretty bad accident, I think. Flame accidents require an oil leak. Once you have one, you can use any ignitable substances like the firecracker, the big one torches like you saw and you'll have this burning animation but the thing you should look for the most is these big red barrels 
A screwdriver is usually what you use to puncture them, but you can shoot them as well. And you get this black oil leak like you see here. Shooting the oil will cause a fire kill. Although shooting it doesn't always work, depends on the terrain. So to be safe, shooting any metallic object in the oil will create sparks. Shooting the barrel itself creates sparks. So two shots to the barrel will ignite it. If you know this, you can do a uh, fire kill from a distance when you see a barrel. Just wait for your target. First shot causes a leak. Second shot causes the burn. Now there may be collateral deaths here, but sometimes that's your objective. Now say you have a breaching charge. Placing it on an oil barrel will cause it both to leak and burn in one hit. Can be useful for remote detonation. Now if your target's a smoker and they're standing on an oil leak, the problem will take care of itself. Syndicate leaders who are smokers usually have a set path, so you can use the oil canister to create an oil puddle where they predict to stand. Speaking of oil canisters, this is how you do use them. Remember that spilling oil or water is an illegal action. A direct shot will always ignite the oil, it's very flammable. Shooting a metal object will also cause an ignition. Now you can shoot it from any distance, but it may be hard to see from too far away. So my tactic is to put the empty canister next to the oil spill and just shoot the canister. The sparks will ignite the oil spill. So here I'm aiming at the canister next to that oil. Fire kill. Here's how I make an oil canister trap. Make a puddle, put a coin down or a briefcase and then put the oil empty oil canister next to it. The target's going to go for the coin or the briefcase. You aim for the canister. You're going to create those sparks. Shoot the canister. And that's your simple oil canister trap. As a side note, unfortunately, it looks like the briefcase is not flammable. Moving on. Now, to perform an electrocution kill, you need a water source like this a water tank here, which you can puncture with a screwdriver. You'll also need an exposed wire, and there'll always be one close by. You can use a screwdriver to expose the wire, and then you need to activate the switch. Sometimes it's already live. Whenever it's live, you can see the water sparking like that. Instead of a screwdriver, you can shoot the water barrel and shoot the socket. Another reason why silenced pistols are so valuable. Once you have your trap set, just wait for the electrocution. Now this next example, this wire was live already and I just shot the socket. Put a coin to draw a target. Now why would someone throw They'll walk into the puddle. And then you can just pick up your coins after. Okay, now using the ICA Micro Remote Taser, create a water um, leak with a screwdriver or a gun. Put the taser right next to the puddle and activate it. You won't be able to put the taser inside the puddle, just next to it. Here I'm using a breaching charge to create the leak. It works just as well. And I already had the taser down next to the barrel. So you can create an electrified puddle. Now some mech that chonking have natural puddles. Just put your taser down next to it. When you activate it, it's electrified um, pool now. Bathrooms, you can create overflow sink Put your taser down on the ground and you can activate it when the water goes over. Just wait for your target who's in investigating the distraction to come. They'll be automatically electrocuted. This is all remote taser by the way. For proximity taser, here I'm trying to do a collateral kill. Proximity tasers activate when there's movement near them. So you create your water puddle. You have to put your taser in that water puddle. So to be safe, I just throw it from a distance. Don't go close to it or you will get killed. Create a distraction. Usually a gunshot will pull some guards close. Get out of there. When the guards come to investigate, he'll take care of itself. And there is your collateral kill. Here I'm going to show a water trap. 
So again, water tanks and um, oil tanks come in briefcases, so that's a huge plus. Create a water puddle just like you would the oil puddle. Here I'm throwing a car battery in there. If you don't have a taser, car batteries you can find in your maps. Note that I'm using my briefcase as a distraction. Here is my target. I'm going to use a banana to cause it to slip. This is a much more controlled environment. She falls. I'm going to spill my water or on the target. Micro taser next to the puddle. And activate. This is very controlled way of doing it if you have time and space. Note that the water canister cannot be shot like a water barrel. Bullets don't penetrate it for some reason. Now for those of you who are watching, watch this trick, okay? So I have the remote micro taser. Okay, I'm going to create a distraction with it, throw it in that spot. Wait for this um, hotel stuff to come and throw it in the same spot. And he just picks it up and puts it in his pocket. And this gives you a free electrocution kill. Now the theory is that the NPC has to be totally alone and be the only one who hears the distraction. For me it worked when other people were there as well. Nice, nice, it seems nice. that you know you have to throw it in almost the exact same place as the first time and also when they are you know saying their line like hey who's making this noise. I would love for you guys to just experiment, try it out. Let's see if we can get it to go more consistently because it is pretty inconsistent right now. Not a big deal but you know something fun for the community to experiment with because it's such a strong tool. I learned this from Volvo Modus, so all credit to you. Moving on. Now, the best way to get drowning accidents is to poison the target's food with emetics. You can also use a Seeker 1 dart to um, cause them to get sick, provided no one sees you shoot, or an emetic grenade. These are all effective at causing the target to get sick, Head towards a bathroom where you can uh, drown them in seclusion. Very, very effective way of killing your target. That's a drowning accident. The second way is using a coin. Put the coin down right in front of the toilet. Create a distraction. You can either turn the sink on or make some noise to draw a target close. When they see the coin, they will first thing they'll do is go for that coin. Make sure you come up right behind them and you'll get that prompt to drown. Let's talk about NPCs and water. Anytime an NPC's head goes underwater, they'll automatically die. So in this situation, I see this um, villager running by. She's in the water. I just do a regular uh, ranged melee attack. I'm going to throw the lead pipe. And that's it. She's out. Kill. You can also try to shoot the legs of NPCs. This can't be good. Like this guy who's going to run into the water, I'm going to shoot his knee and there he goes. He just falls down and is killed immediately. Normally this wouldn't kill anybody but if they go underwater, that's it. Same here. It's a very effective way to kill syndicate leaders, to kill assassins and so on. Here's a banana accident <laughs> put on the side of a pool. He slipped and fell headfirst into the water. It's good to know these other means of um, drowning people because sometimes when you poison them with emetics, they may not always go to a bathroom. Brings us to our next topic. Target down. Bananas are good ways to cause falls. You should know how to use a banana, uh, the basics of it. Um, another good way which um, I've been using more recently is using coins in front of bananas. They, they'll be drawn towards the coins and walk right through the banana. Sometimes they can just fall like this into the water. She didn't die, but they can die. If you see wet puddles with the wet floor sign, take away the sign, cause a distraction. If someone walks over that puddle, they're gonna fall down just like a banana. And you can grab a weapon or whatever you want. Okay, now for assassinations though. This is a push kill. Sometimes you'll have a payout objective push kill, there'll always be one target who's making a route like that. When you subdue a guard and throw him over the edge, it still counts as an accident, but not a push kill. The best way is using a coin. Put a coin on the, on the ledge, wait for a guard to go close and you'll get the prompt to eliminate. 
you can do this by the water too interestingly just placing the coin they act like you've thrown the coin There's something with the audio now your briefcase does the same thing because when they go to investigate it they will be bending over and you'll get that eliminate prompt putting the briefcase on a ledge also works just wait for the prompt and push weapons do the same thing here's a weapon on a ledge guard goes to take it you get the prompt I'm showing you the coin again it seems to be the most consistent and best way moving on for falling objects instinct is your friend use instinct take out the weak point Talk it down. sometimes there's a winch use a coin to draw your target look for the winch wait for your target to go for the coin and activate the winch Here I'm using a coin to create a distraction and method 1 is just to shoot the strings method 2 like I said is using the winch Finger. and method 3 very interesting if you have a breaching charge you can put the breaching charge on the winch go away somewhere remote and activate okay so now you don't always have to wait for your target to come right under the chandelier in order to blow it Sometimes you can knock your target out. I'm positioning myself under the chandelier to see where I'm standing looking at the floor. Drag my target right there and then shoot the support or drop the winch. These um, speakers can be dropped with crowbar from behind. Wait for your target to go under you and you can drop that. Or you can shoot it out too and it'll drop on the target. So I've covered all the most basic methods. Here I'm showing you again uh, how you can kill NPCs who are in water by just ranged melee. We are using a wrench to kill a whole army. And it shows you how powerful <laughs> and safe you can be in water. Haven Island and Ambrose Island uh, are two very um, water heavy maps now these are all accident kills bonus tip even though it's not an accident kill it's very cool you see a piano just drop it it'll pull over um, the closest person to investigate they'll open up the piano and for some reason stick their head inside all right this was a long video but I was hoping to cover a few things and I think we covered all of them. This should really let you beat the Eco Crime Syndicate and excel at accident kills as a whole. Thank you so much for all the support you've been giving us. It's been really been overwhelming. I do appreciate all of you, each and every one of you. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Let me know if the Microtaser experiments are successful. Take care and we'll see you next time.